Whoa, how about that intro, huh? Well, and that's something Great pretty to look stuff. at. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, yes. And welcome back to IFWA Monthly Pro, the second one, number two. Uh, first off the bat, I want to apologize for the slight delay. Big, big fuck up that can be blamed on Steam and Fire Pro itself. Uh, Gabe yeah. Newell casted a pox on us, and we had to do some last minute uh, fixing to get things running. But we're good now. It's all ready, it's all here. Yeah, theoretically it should would have been my fault, but for some reason Steam saw it differently. <laughs> I'm not I'm not turning it down. Hi, I'm your co-host, Lord uh, Lord Mo, and I'm your main MC Eric Ricards, and tonight we've got another stack card for you. We got our first OC match. We've got another slaughter from Sakura. We've got the Battle K Royale and Dan Severn versus Kurt Angle. Oh, also Mo's got uh, some boys coming up from the Indies. Uh, you have no, you could not guess who the fuck is coming up. That's right. Uh, let's just say I have a very eclectic roster in my own developmental league, which is informally known as Mo Makes Today a Better Day. We have no TV tapings, and we mostly just fight in an abandoned Denny's. Man, uh, well, well, we're, well, for us, we actually fight out of an Outback Steakhouse. Uh, that's cool. We don't really sell tickets anyways. So when your MC shows up, does he, does he do the thing where it's like, What the fuck? What the fuck's up, Denny's? Like that one guy from the video. Uh, I actually... <clears throat> I think you cut out a bit. I think you peaked, but... uh, Oh, no. MC. <laughs> well, you know, we you're Mike a... Man. You're an announcer, dude. Yeah, we have a speak... We have a speaking spell. I mean, look, it's mostly He-Man characters. I'll be real with you. <laughs> Well, you know what, you're getting, well, as long as you're getting some good use out of that speaking spell, you should be fine. But anyways, let's just get on to our main event since we ran late and we're just going to do an early Raw thing and just show the main event so that way all the kitties can see this before they go off to bed. It's an OC debut. Not just one, but two of them from my own damn brain. It's Darian Bennett of Whirlwind versus Keenan Ryu of Tough Breaker. I really should have, I really should have. Sorry, you go. I really should have wrote down some more going into this match. Crap. Now I'll think of something <laughs> on the fly. It's fine. Th that's yeah. just a part of the Eric World of magic for you. Everything's on the fly. Don't yeah, and uh, I'll tell you right now, these two boys, they actually went through the Mo Makes Today a Better Day Foundation Center for their, uh, to, tra to train for their upcoming debut in IFWA. And now they're here on the, on the slightly big stage. So let's get it on. And we begin! And I actually remember to put music into the game this time. Alright. That's the Garudan OSC you're hearing right now, because of course I'd use that. Naturally. So we've there got some interesting... Oh, sorry, you go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, already Darian going for his uh, signature suplexes and throws. He's a catch wrestler, if I'm remembering correctly, right? Yes, catch, shoot, same diff. Yeah. Ooh, but, nice sweepy from Kinam. Yeah, Kinam. Uh, uh, Kinam probably looking to take him off his feet early, uh, early doors using a combination of karate and judo. There's some good ground and pound going there. Ooh, nice one. Oh yeah, he's got some real slick moves on the ground. Uh, <laughs> maybe see, we'll probably won't see. Oh, and that hook kick right oh to the God, face. He is just really going all in on Darian right now. That might he be the hot blood in him running through his veins, making him do this. See, we got some interesting, uh, what's the one I'm looking for? Differences, I guess you could say? Uh, yeah. Darian, in, uh, Darian is a 20 year old, so he's got a little more mat time under him in comparison to Keenam, who is uh, 17, and he has fought as part of the Harris FC uh, organization. Oh, some out, sorry. Now, Harris FC, as you might. Uh, guess from the name is a youth fighting organization and I know some people are gonna be a little little iffy about that but you know what the world runs on fighting game logic it's all fine they're all wearing their gloves they're all wearing their kick pads it's fine these kids are fine I, I say get them started as young as like you know once they start losing baby teeth they're ready to start knocking out they're baby teeth fired back. and I mean it's a lot, at, least, at least we're not doing fucking that uh Russian kids MMA league. Have you seen that? Uh, 
most of the higher bowl guardians. Uh, Keenom with the scarf hold, no avail. Uh, Darian Bennett tries to grow, uh, tries to go for a takedown, gets stuffed. Keenom takes the back, coil lock. Darian crawling his way to the ropes, breaks it anyways. Ooh! How yeah, into the with the arm trap neck lock. Also gotta say, very brave of them to actually be wearing their glasses in this fight. Because you think that's something you don't want to be breaking in your face when you're getting punched in it. Bruh, fighting game logic. Well then again, the Darian's probably using his field abilities to keep his glasses on straight. The cocky little kick combination from Keenom. You notice that Keenom mostly using his kicks for distance and saving the uh, saving the punches for close up, but you know, throwing a little bit of that zazzle there. A little pepper, a little paprika, a little something or other. Just yep. Just oh, trading the ropes. Oh no, wait. Trading uh, trading holds back and forth. All right. Darian, you're on the ropes, you did, you wee tinny bastard. Oh uh, yeah. Um, Logic is not the strong suit at the uh, Mo Makes Today a Better Day TM Foundation. Well, to be fair, Darian sometimes can be a little full of his in-ring abilities. I mean, to be That's fair, he does have otherworldly powers, which, to be oh, fair, he can't really use right now, as they're both actually wearing inhibitor wristlets. It's to keep them on an even fighting level, you know? Oh, yeah. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Uh... We did have to start confiscating weapons at the Foundation Center, but... Oh yeah. god, what happened? Oh, okay. Oh, no, oh. it's... it's oh. And, uh, well... Looks like the 17-year-old got one over on the 20-year-old. Oh. Yuki Nam is our first OC winner! Alright, that was a pretty good match. I'm happy with the way their training has come out. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in Darian, not gonna lie. Again, I expected him to kind of sweep one over on Kinam, given the... Given oh, uh, experience. Some of the sparring matches they had were way more nuts. It might also, it might also have been a rule difference. Sometime we'll have to compare notes about uh, how we do rules. Yeah. Well, in that, in any other case, uh, let us get let us get your other boys in here. Uh, shit, where did I put them? Yeah, I mean they're damn for they're damn for sure legendary. Um. Looks like you're missing some parts on a few of the Battle K Road characters, I think. Uh, wait. Wait, I have the... Don't I have that? I don't know. Uh, well, I guess it's just going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Damn yeah, it. We'll figure it out. Maybe it wasn't in the pack. We'll check. Where did I put them? I know I downloaded them. If you press Z, you can arrange by... Uh, uh, you should be able to arrange by... Yeah. What the... God damn it, Gabe! Give us another moment, folks. All right. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, I, I did. I super did. It, okay, so there's an issue they have fire prize an issue with cloud saves. Uh, it might have done. I something. don't cloud save. I make sure it's all saved on my desktop. Okay, well, either way, I need to make sure with my latest install that it's uh. Right, chance for this one. Okay, there they are. There they are. Go back down! Ah, oh, this interface. Boom, boom. Yeah, let's put them there. It's fine. Yeah, they're pretty legendary. Yeah, in their own right. All I right. should finish my Kunio. I actually have a really good Kunio Kun. We'll save that one for down the road. Oh yeah, well no, it's nowhere near finished. It's just I have really, really good costumes for Kunio, Riki, Alex, and Ryan, and uh, some moves picked out. Not a lot. Oh wait. You saved them in their legends. There he is. There's one of them. Where is <laughs> there he is? In game. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, everyone, before I reveal who is up next, I want you to close your eyes and think to yourself. Two iconic legends of the video game world. What comes and, to mind? And I will give you a hint, they are yellow. They both are, well, one's more of a gold, the other one's kind of a mustard. Yeah, yeah, but, you know. But just close your eyes, think of the best characters in fic in video game yeah, fiction. Think what, of what types of heavy hitters that your boy Lord Mo of the Mo Makes Today a Better Day Foundation Institute 
would pick out, uh, would scout up from the indies and train in his own facilities. Just uh, what types of legends? Frosty says Pac-Man and Qbert. I no, like but I like your attitude. Now I'm wondering. You know, are some, you're, you would never get this in a million years. It's Duke Davis from Bad Street Brawler, one of the Power Glove games, and Mohawk from Mohawk and Headphone Jack on the Super Nintendo. That's right. Oh, my Mal. Let's get some appropriate music for these fellas. Yeah, that subway seems fine. And let us see what kind of magic these two can bring us. I'm imagining uh, Moe's going to get one over on Duke, given the fact that he can uh, discombobulate his body. Well, you know what they say uh, on the bad streets is never trouble trouble till trouble troubles you. And I think what we might see is Duke going ahead and ignoring those rules. He is already Ooh. trouble and trouble. Mohawk and Headphone Jack just using that... Mohawk using that Mode 7 to just roll and spin and throw in every which way. Try and keep Duke Davis off of his wonderfully mustard betoggled feet and... Uh, Singlet. Oh, yeah. I mean... I know it's supposed to be like sh booty shorts and like a tank top. It just looks like a singlet to me. Oh yeah, I mean, I might be able to add a belt or something. That, I believe this is no. Take back. I believe this is actually. I can't remember. If this is the in-game outfit, or I actually gave him four outfits. Uh, yeah, I know, cause like it turns out there's like a ton of other versions. Yeah, one of them's in-game, one of them's cutscene, one of them is the advertisement, and then one of them is, is the, the original DOS DOS version. Skin. Yeah. It was a DOS game that explains so much. Yeah. Oh, the DOS game also had, like, this really darkly comedic slant where it had a rolling narration of how, you know, I can feel the bugs inside my brain and, you know, I must beat up these grannies. Uh, 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 yeah, you were the, uh, bad, guy. You were the bad guy Duke, in the original. Should Duke be in the ring, then? Oh, he's fine. I mean, our psychiatric evaluations, uh, they're, they're fine. Are you positive about that? Because uh, I mean, he seems kind of way too eager to fight this clay morphic alien thing. Uh, let's put it this way. You know who else is in the Mo Makes Today a Better Day Foundation gym? I mean, he shares a locker room with Stinkor, the evil master of odors. Well, oh, God. Ugh, break out the patchouli all for that guy. Oh, and they do. Mm, Cock two. Ooh, and not even a two count. I probably should have put some leverage on then instead of just... <laughs> oh. The grounded slaps. This is again. Duke Davis is a very dirty fighter. <laughs> Duke he Mustard, as man. Frosty calls him. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Incredible athleticism from Duke on that kick. Oh yeah, zero fighter kick. Uh, that was a botch. Tries to get him off the ropes, but you know, just kind of catches him an awkward angle on the sweep kick. Down on his back, Duke Davis again, dirty fighter. He is not afraid to. Oh, and looks like Mo's not Mohawk's not uh, afraid to go dirty either. Like, <coughs> to me, like most people who end up uh, engaging with Mohawk and or Headphone Jack in any way, he Duke Davis Ooh. is ending up quite motion sick. Uh, yeah, it looks like the nausea starting to set in on Duke right there. Yeah, I mean, God, after this, he's probably going to go, like... He's going to need to lay down and drink some water. Close his oh, eyes for a bit. Dog. He's definitely going to kick a dog. I'm just going to say that. You're like, positive well, that he's been cleared to fight. Oh, I mean... Maybe? I, I Look, I, I don't handle the IFWA, um, you know, medicals. I just, uh... Oh, We're a legitimate business. You can't just be bringing in these thugs into our ring. Oh, please, he's not a thug. A Bobo's a thug. Oh. Uh, a too bad for Duke, that will do nothing. As this is SWA rules, I should remind you all. Elder, so, you ever do count outs ever of the ring have nothing. Yeah. Well, if you ever do want to change anything about that, like, we can at least, you could, you can actually turn off Lumberjack and, uh, brawling outside the ring is a go. Alright. Mm, I think we'll have to do that for next time. We're still in our learning phases, folks. I even forgot to make the fucking card graphics this week because I was so enthused on making the intro look so nice. Ooh, and that's round two. I'm I'd say it's round two. By the bell, but honestly, that's more coincidence than anything. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, nice combination. I think that was a Slam Master combo right there. All the counters that was going on. Reversal to reversal, just rolling up, roly poly, bending him around. Ooh, a 2.9! Swing and a miss, and still managed One, to score two, a knockdown. Four. Oh, yeah, the nausea's really getting the Duke now. Oh, yeah, Mohawk is, uh... I, I can't say for sure which one's winning, but... I'll the say yellow I'm... one. <laughs> the yellow one is winning, yes. Ooh! Oh, uh, the fucking whatever that does that can you commemorate Pulsa does, Mohawk wins! Hell, yeah. I think I called the all oh, right, and he busts out a groove over the still re is still breathing corpse of Duke Davis. Yeah, I think Duke should take some time off. Mohawk wins. I put it this way: if Duke is not in the ring beating up weird anthropomorphic headphone guys, he is going to be in the streets attacking grannies. I, yeah, I don't. I think this might be the only time he comes into our ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, we'll see. All right, and we got our next match ready to go. Oh, let me just change the B. Yeah, the uh, there's there's no custom parts uh, on either of those two edits. Uh, so I have like a little patch. It's supposed to be like the UK flag on a waistband. That's the best I could do for um, a Walkman. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good though. You make it work. It looks it looks good enough, yeah. Uh, let's see what's a good one. I guess this will do fine. Yes. Next match, Dan Severn, winner of last week's first fat fight versus Kurt Angle. Both of these men were, of course, in the Victors Cup tournament. So I guess I guess that's gonna be a part of our show now. Just random Victors Cup rematches. But anyways. Dan managed to put one over on Don last week. I mean, last month. Actually, no, uh, I got it reversed. Uh, Don got one over on Dan, but it looks like Dan's just gonna go back to fight anyone else he wants. It makes sense. Dan Severin is a highly decorated amateur wrestler. Kurt right. Angle, of course, won of gold, Olympic gold with a broken right. freaking neck. There we go. Oh, uh, you you do have to have the sweaty baggy t-shirt. It is not for, Dan. You know what? Oh, shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. Come on, off the damn thing. It, if he's going to wear... Oh, I forgot the gold medal is the standard. Whoops. Anyways, Dan Severn versus Kurt Angle. Now, the Beast, uh, Dan Severn, also another good matchup because... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, you see, there's a custom part for his terrible punches. Uh, sorry but about he, that. There was I, a. I mean, again, he helped. The, you're gonna have to repeat yourself because there was a stutter, and it froze my computer for a second. Dan Severin, uh, terrible punches. Probably just see if there's a custom part for his shitty punches in real life. But it looks like he's handling himself decently in stand up here. Uh, a lot of elbows, feeling uh, playing kind of dirty. But of course, it's Dan to be Severin, so he is shooting for those double legs. And Kurt Angle's having none of it. And he's having some of it. <laughs> Caught him in the arm triangle. I mean, basically the same hole that Daniel P uh, Puder nearly broke his arm with, but... I'm sorry, what was his name? Daniel Puder or Puder. All right, the guy know. from Tough Enough who actually shot on Kurt that one time. Yeah, because he was instructed to, and, um... You know what? I, I appreciate that mad bastard for uh, taking his shot at glory. It didn't end well for him, but... And he Wouldn't had his you? five minutes, and then he got buried at, uh, what was it, the Royal Rumble or whatever? He didn't just get buried, like, they actually, like, gang-stomped him. <laughs> like, everyone just stopped the match to stomp on him. What assholes! Pretty, yeah, I know, uh, I'm just saying, uh, you know, the wrestling locker room, not really the most enlightened place, uh, except at the, uh, you know, the Mo Mix Today A Better Day Foundation gym. Well, I'd say the IFWA locker room was pretty good. Oh, IFWA locker room is probably better, but you know, it doesn't have Mosquitoor. The evil Mosquito, the evil, the horde's evil energy sucking creature. Do you have the fucking rabbit guy too? The rabbit guy? Wasn't there like some bunny guy or something, whatever? 
Oh yeah, um, I actually didn't make that edit. That what was, was his uh, name? East Tor or whatever. Oh no, I don't remember. It was he was he was like a one. He was like a, a plundar, I think. I like my name better. Yeah. Oh, your your one's a better uh, <sighs> name, but one, two. Ooh, and Dan says no. I like this tribal war drum feeling here. Yeah, I keep forgetting what all the songs from the Garuden soundtrack sound like, so sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but it's still great. Yeah, same. Yeah. Too close to the ropes, Kurt! To be fair, he had him away from the ropes, but, Dan, but Severin was crawling towards them. Now, Angle is not particularly known for his MMA-style grappling. Severin should be doing a little more mountain stuff, but uh, I'm not complaining. I mean, again... Ooh! <laughs> oh, there we go. Rolling... Uh, not a cradle. That's a... Uh, no, not a cradle. It's a rolling... Oh, I'm sleepy. It's a rolling something other. Oh, Rich is in chat. Hey, Rich. Yeah. Ooh! Fisherman and I Slam? I mean, Hulk Hogan to you, too, brother. I probably got that move wrong. Sorry, I was making Ooh. jokes about Hydra and Hogan. <laughs> I mean, he would probably like Hydra. Right in the ropes, man. Right in the ropes. Yeah. Come on, fellas, go more towards the center. The angle slam. Um, angle slam definitely putting Dan, uh, Dan down for at least yeah. a standing count. Oh. Vertical suplex, roll him over. What's his plan? Looks like his plan oh, is that was a to nothing. go for a light jog and... Oh, and that'll put him down. Him. Yep, and the beast is oh. out. Oh, looks like it was about to go a little bit of TNA Kurt Angle there. Uh, I, I would say Kurt Angle may be another one we should start... Uh, we, we should probably not team him up with Duke Davis, because uh, you they saw They might how kill each other. No, that's true. That's possible, too. But you saw that little pounce afterwards. Like, he was ready to continue the fight at all costs. God, he was. All right, let me look now at the rest of the matches we got planned. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll do the Battle K one-on-one. -on -one. I was really hoping we could get all four of these fuckers in there, but what can you do? Actually, wait, can we do a three-way dance? I think the three-way dance is mod only. Darn. Yeah. Well, we'll still have some Battle K Road going on tonight, as we have... Oh, so there might be a Battle Royale mode in default. It's been a while since I've screwed around with uh, the multi-man match types. I I mostly do singles or tags. Our next match is Cyborg D94. I mean, F versus I, Full I, Con... I mean, Wolf. Don't forget to change the music and... uh yeah, no, I'm glad I'm not the only one who says C a Cyborg D94, I mean F, because I do it all the time. It's too hard not I to. I have brain problems. Oh, I definitely have bad brain problems. Well, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this. Yeah, I can't do math, but I'm pretty good at spelling, so I guess I just try to compensate by spelling math. Oh, Wolf already going in with, uh, I believe the Japanese term is something like the standing octopus hold, but... There's a strength. Ooh, Test and no one wins it. Wolf somehow managed to escape from underneath the cyborg. Done yeah, he's got to be, like, piling on all those uh, horse powers onto those arms. Cyborg just pushing him into the, toward, to the edge of the screen, so to speak, and just laying into him. Leg sweep to return. Wolf somehow on the outside, but... Oh, still catches a knee to the face. He's going to need to rely more on grappling um, as it stands, because he's clearly being outclassed uh, uh, by the cyborg, who he is trying to keep off his feet. Ooh, a little taunt thrown in there for good measure. And a head drop. He has a metal skull, ooh. so that can be nice. Yeah, I gotta stop saying ooh every time a big move happens. I sound like Herb Abrams from UWFI. I mean UWF, just without the coke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, what if he had commentated the UWFI, though? I would have loved to see him commentate anything else. Not even just wrestling. 
Because he's oh. going to be coked up and it's going to be great and terrible. Maybe, uh, was he the one who kept saying, how much does this fellow weigh to every wrestler? No, that was Art Donald. He was Thank at uh, 94. I just saw the OSW video for it. Oh, okay. King of the Ring. King of the Ring, yes. Well, I don't want to know how much this fellow weighs, especially because I'm bad at judging weight. How much does this weight. fellow weigh? Is he one of the wrestlers? He looks like a businessman. <laughs> Well, neither of these men look, look like businessmen, but they are clearly going into business, raining down those cyborg knees to the crown of Wolf's skull. Not yeah. exactly. Speaking of bad at math, he probably forgot the letter through uh, the letter. Yeah, the letter three. That's how bad it is. No, he's Russian, so he forgot the backwards three e. That's true. I'm going to assume that's what noise that letter makes. Oh, oh god, didn't even give him time to recover, mercilessly just popping his neck. Well, he's mercilessly just killing his fucking man. Yeah, Wolf is clearly not in any state to it was not in any state to have the fight continue, but I guess he oh. conveyed to the referee. Oh. And that's yeah. Wolf. Well, at least our referee's out oh, standing on his leg and giving a thumbs up. What a dickhead. Not just a thumbs up, it was a shaka bra. It was a shaka bra, yeah. Cyber's gonna go out there and say, Doink, you're sca your scaring the kids, brah. <laughs> okay, well, shit, we're already at the end of our show. I guess this is still a learning experience for us, but we'll figure... <laughs> I guess we'll really have to figure out how we're gonna do this going well, on do, forward. Do, do, you should do... We should just give him a little bit, a little bit of the go home. Click random select. You know you wanna. After we see whoever Crybaby Sakura kills this week. Oh, that's right. Yes, the big man is back and he's demanded more meat. And because he still has a Hulk Hogan-esque contract with us, my fault, really, I should not have given him so much leeway, we have no choice but to give him what he wants. So let's see if he's ready... Oh, right, it's in Japanese. So stupid. Wait, no, it's Sunshine. <laughs> that would there be a fucking match, though. You know what? Hold on, wait, I'm getting word. I'm getting oh, word. Man. Oh, my God. Someone has stepped up to might be... Someone has stepped up to the challenge and might be able to put down Crybaby Sakura. It's... Sunshine from Kiniku Man. Another fucking Fighters February 3 Victor's Cup tournament entrant. In fact, I think these two actually met. If I, if my memory serves me correct, and I know it probably doesn't, I think these two actually might have met in the tournament. And I do believe that's when the world ended. Well, whatever happens now, we're all doomed. Dude, I should see if anyone. Uh, there's a lot of really crazy custom Kaniku Man moves on the workshop. I should see if anyone's actually uploaded an edit with any of them. <laughs> Well, Sunshine already taking it to the big man with a uh, over-the-knee uh, sidewalk slam backbreaker, whatever. Well, you gotta remember, these, these two are two evil... Ooh, almost hitting the Spanish announce table. These two are the most disgusting bastards you'll ever meet in the ring. One is a blind man who can paint immaculately and hear people having sex from miles away, and the other is an evil sand monster who will turn to a dreidel on your ass. And it can go either way. Ass. God, I chose well, the right song for this. Indeed. Looks like uh, Sunshine is trying to terror, is trying to methodically break down uh, Sakura, but I don't know. The crybaby seems like he's made of tougher stuff. Pins him to the ground, rides him to back mount, suplexes from the ground onto the apron. Circling, they're biding their time. Sunshine whips, but catches him again with the second. Uh, catches him with the second palm. Pinned to the ground, so, uh, right to the back. Another suplex Ooh, from suplex. Sakura. Misses the punch. He eats a kick in return. Whips gets the uh, uh, dropped over the knee. Also, a quick update. No, I was wrong. They did not meet at the Victor's Cup tournament. It was actually Sunshine versus E Honda, and it was E Honda who got one over on Sunshine. 
E Honda, who canonically just... killed Hulk Hogan in the ring, of a critical. All right, and which is also incredible because if I remember that E Honda's <laughs> AI was trash. Oh, I should also mention that uh, the Undertaker is unfortunately no longer with us. No more. Yeah, Crybaby Sakura pretty much ended him right then and there. Now he loves the back ride, but Sunshine, but like, he's done it so many times that Sunshine was wise to it and used his horrendous uh, desert powers to just fling himself back and flapjack them onto the mat. Turning but he himself keeps going for the same moves. Oh, running through each other. But oh. I have a feeling that Harriet whiffed through the sand-like construction of Sunshine's body. Sakura retreating, Sunshine taking advantage of that to elbow him in the back to head to let, drop the big leg, and you know, can't be fun because of how heavy he is. Oh, was it really necessary to pound him in the nuts? The answer, yes, yes it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> now, as much as, uh, Who's, ooh! Who's guard? Oh, God! Guard Duplex. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> or in his case, if it ain't broke. Can you even do it break again. sand? Well, actually, I guess you can't send. Oh! Choke slam! Big I... giant choke slam lays out onto the knees. Oh, a full Nelson release slam. Another O'Hogan brother. Sunshine visibly starting to run out of breath, which I didn't think was possible. I guess all these suplexes, even though that one was countered, probably losing a lot of sand. He is sucking wind. Oh. Oh, back mount. Oh, and the reversal from fucking Sunshine. I can't believe I'm about to cheer from, but he might be the savior of the IFWA. He might be able to put down this blinded monster. It is. Have you noticed? Oh, shoulder barge. And those just gigantic fucking shoulders. Pin down. Lift. Carell and lift. Ooh. The iconic technique of Alexander the Experiment Karel in uh, almost undefeated oh. Olympic wrestling. No! Oh no! Sunshine oh tapped! It's Sunshine tapped! I should say. Oh my god, even a devil Trojan could have put down this fucking devil. I haven't felt this upset since Undertaker actually beat Sakurab on the rematch. Ah, uh, but that's just going to be the power and shoot difference. Was that our entire card? Uh, yeah, that was our entire card this time. We bar what the fuck? We barely made thirty-seven minutes. Well, we're again. This is this. We're feeling this out. I've done a lot of work for people behind the scenes, but I've never actually uh, brought, been a broadcast team. Okay, so hear me out. Let's Look just do one, we'll do another random. Let's see who's in the back room. Yeah. I mean, there's actually a random select button on that screen. I mean, I'm sure I we like could just start pulling water. names out of a hat. <sighs> Uh, this will be a fun one. Oh, this will be a fun one. <laughs> uh, this will be a fun one because it's Bastard Maeda going up against Bastard Lion Son of a Bitch Tank Abbott. When he's not drinking, he's totally, totally not working out, you guys. Both these men known for, you know, boasting, lies, street fights... Pulling drunk, a knife, pulling a weapon on someone. Weapons on people. <laughs> MMA, fear, or quite MMA with a heavy asterisk next to it. So, well, who's got your money? My money I is mean, Abbott because I don't want my Ada to win because he's an asshole. My money is my Ada because uh, he's got that deadly capture suplex, he's got the leg lock supremacy. Uh, Abbott's got the throws, but my Ada's and also the, got the power. Kicks. Oh, raw power punches. If we're lucky, he might just pick up my aid and just dump him out the ring on his head. Like that one guy he fought in the UFC. Fun fact, that's the reason why no one can do those ring dumps anymore. He's, he did it once and they were like, nope, can't let that happen again. That was the one, yeah, I was saying, uh, Which they, I gotta I say, see. cowardice of them. Abbott, yeah, Abbott was the one who actually pushed someone over the top, right? I think Abbott got really close. I'm not sure if he was the one who actually managed to do it. Well, I do know that there was, I believe, a sumo wrestler who, uh, or I could be getting things to do. There was a very large man who threw, a, who pushed a very small, a comparatively very small man through the cage. 
and then lost. Ooh, that was a snappy one right there. Snapped down into the Waki Gatame, tried for it again, caught a punch to the gut. Just oh, big those cluttering. wild swings from Abbott. Yeah. Has, Abbott has a very strange tan, I'm noticing. Nah, that's how he kind of looked. That was him in uh, WCW, I believe. <laughs> Remember when he came to the ring in a bike for whatever reason? <laughs> or when he was a, a three-count stan? When he was a three-count fanboy, or uh, I mean, we're never, we've mentioned it, but nothing's going to top asking management, hey, can I use a weapon in this match? And they say and then yes. he and brings then he a fucking <laughs> knife and they did, he didn't tell no one. Tell anyone it would be a knife and commentary is scrambling to cover saying, oh, he's, he's threatening to cut his beard. I As cannot he... wait for Reliving the War to cover that episode. <laughs> it's going to take such a fall, long fucking time to get there, but it's going to be worth it. Oh, Abbott trying for a punch, but Maeda intercepting his sluggish but incredibly powerful blows for a flying armbar. Co co a couple juchu esque uh, Shota uh, combo into a single leg uh, Achilles lock. And this is why he's the general of the rings, if you notice. He pulled Abbott away from the ropes before trying anything. He is, he, I mean, the rings rule set placed an incredible emphasis on rope breaks and how they may be used. So he's got the working knowledge here. Ooh, and Abbott breaks free. You know, I'm noticing Abbott isn't... Oh, wait, never mind. He's gassed right now. This is what you get for drinking martinis, you asshole, instead of training. Or am I getting that uh, story wrong? Um, no, I don't I don't know if it's martinis, but um, he has he... said... This, man, this is a man who has spent some time with alcohol and freely says it. Elbow butt combo, and then drops the elbow in another elbow. Capture suplex! Two, three, four, five. Throwing some probing punches with way more force than you normally would for a probing punch, but it's Tank Abbott. He's the Huntington Beach bad boy. I mean, he was the Huntington Beach bad boy. If he's a bad boy. There was a lot of people called the bad boy. He was the Huntington... Well, he is the Huntington Beach bad boy in my mind. Because he's not an asshole like Ortiz is. Shit, yeah. Which beach was he the bad boy of? That's going to bug me now. Huntington. It was literally Huntington. The Huntington bad boy. <laughs> okay. We used to thought meant that Tito Ortiz was the Huntington Beach bad boy. I'm like, wait, well, then who the fuck is... Abbott's Abbott, but we can call... Oh, damn it. And t Capture Suplex was the great equalizer. The Korea-phobe one. Uh, yeah, Tank Abbott... Okay, Tank Abbott is kind of a... I don't know too much about his personal life. I do know that he wrote a book that is hilariously poorly written, but is also one of those very questionably racist, um, like, you know, right-wing boomer fantasy. Uh, uh, you know. uh, I mean, but look at him. Look well, at him. You know how I said no matter who wins the last match, we all lose? I meant that. I really mean that for this one, in that case. That's right. Crap, I don't, I don't want a right-winger to win on this final match. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Let's see who's in the back again. All right. Um, have you turned off the uh, screen for character? Okay, there. Okay. Uh, who are you? Nah. I should really delete you for a full kayfabe effect. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This one even has the custom shirt, huh? Wow. Tank Abbott beat Joey Janela for a baddest boy title, says Tank Bearclaw. Mm. Sounds like there might be some bias. Probably don't go with a real guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta. No, I don't know who this guy is, so I can't make any jokes. Fuck. Uh, I know who he is, but I don't know anything about him. Hmm. Oh, hey, you work now. Oh my god! Okay, one more it's random wild card fight. It's Dennis Rodman of the NWO versus Ryuhi from. I forgot what the series is called. I think it's called the Chinese. Oh yeah, Hiro Ken. Flying yeah. Eagle Fist. No, 
uh, flying fist or whatever. It's, it's, okay. I do know the most famous entry in America is called Flying Dragon for N64. This is the, of course, the Flying Hidden Dragon Udo Ultimate Fighter on SNES 2. Yeah, Ultimate Fighter on SNES, but this is from the SD subseries, and lord, this art style is not meant to handle that much uh, kawaii. It's, it's in the office. All right, let's see if these two can get anything out of each other. That sounded really bad. I will say, having a giant fucking potato head is going to make it easy for headshots. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we had a... Uh, yeah, we, we had a few issues in training. Um, I mean, I didn't train this guy, but we've, I've seen some very similar stories. I've heard stories about it. Uh, you know... Just... People from the SD range uh, tend to suffer massive head injuries, and I'm like, of course, if you have a massive head, of course it's going to get injured more often. Yeah, they got Modoc syndrome, don't they? Well, slight Modoc syndrome. It's like, like a by Modoc way, by proxy. I watched the Modoc show on Hulu. She really enjoyed it, yeah. It's not actually that bad. Okay, Easily, end, Patton was... Oswalt makes the whole thing. He really feels like he was destined to play Modoc. Oh, he really does. By the end, I was fully invested. I really love that show, actually. Yeah, I really do hope for a season two. Anyways. Yeah. Man, <clears throat> we totally should put the Goldberg role in here, though, like Modoc did. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, what? Cakes okay, so was played by Whoopi Goldberg. Who? You keep cutting out. Whoopi Goldberg played who? Cake. I'm sorry you cut out again. Pound Cakes. Pound Cakes. What the fuck is Pound Cakes? Oh, uh, how far in the se did you watch the entire season? Oh, right, right, right. Wait, that was Whoopi Goldberg? Uh, yeah, apparently that was Whoopi Goldberg. I had no fucking idea. I know I, I know fucking Tenpin was Cyril from Archer. Yeah, I mean, that one he couldn't disguise. Oh, <laughs> I mean, also, by the way, this horrifying tableau in front of us. Uh... I honestly have no idea who's winning. I'm just going to assume um, Ryu is going to win since he's an actual fighter and Dennis Rodman is Dennis Rodman. Yeah. I will say, uh, I am impressed by this custom. The costume one is actually a custom piece of the Rodzilla t-shirt. Which I did buy. I found a vintage NWO Rodzilla t-shirt and bought nice. it for a friend years ago. And I kind of wish I'd bought myself one too. Because <laughs> the guy had extras. God, what I wouldn't give to find a vintage shirt. I need to get myself a wrestling shirt and have that be like my summer shirt, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking well, of getting I... one of the Ico of the Ico Pro logo. Oh, nice. I want yeah, something I to... deep. Re I want something that goes deep. Something that really shows that I'm a fucking mark. Yeah, I mean, I need to restock. My Fighting Network ring shirt is shot. My UWFI shirt is now a rag. Uh, oh, no. My FMW shirts are covered in stains. Some of them are red, so it fits. Uh, I don't Anita know wouldn't wing... have it any other way. Exactly. I don't know where my wing t-shirt went. Uh, I've kind of gotten too fat for... Um... Oh, God, which t-shirt did I buy that is Ooh. now I'm in quarantine? Hang on, hung him up on the Tree of Woe and kicked him in the knees. Ooh, uh, blast him on the back of him. That is actually a common problem with the AI in this game. Uh, the Tree of Woe position, they are automatically use their middle of strike. And a lot of edits put high kick on the middle strike. And uh, so you'll see a lot of that where uh, <coughs> one character will hang the other up in the Tree of Woe position. And then just like, use that. Oops, yep, yeah, you're right. Use that, uh, use that wonderfully advantageous position to just kick him in the leg again. Yeah, KO by super kick. Who's surprised that the martial artist won? Indeed. Uh, well, unfortunately, right. uh, some of the, yeah, we need to also sometime get to get convene on rules because we might be able to stretch these matches a bit. Uh, yes, that will be the that will be what we work on for the next one. Yeah, it's a learning pro uh, process. Thank you for hanging in there with us. Thank you for um, watching some... And really, thank you for being patient with us with getting this shit running tonight. God, yeah. It Fucking was... Gabe. I, I, I... Okay, so I'm, you know, break, breaking kayfabe. I made the OC edits in the first match. Oh, I, yeah, uh... I forgot. I, well, I guess we're saying it now. Mo has really been putting... Really put his blood and sweat into this, and I really do appreciate all you've been doing for us, dog. No problem, man. Thank you. I do like doing edits and stuff, especially because we don't have some of the more most exacting standards. Because I'm sure that if there are any Fire Pro veterans in the chat right now, they are, they looked at that match and said, 
Mo, what the fuck are you doing? But uh, people I watching will... the stream, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like eight, eight Stark Hygiene says, IFWA were the best of the best, go chest to chest with no rest, and then there's Dennis Rodman. It's fun. I mean, we had Duke Davis from Bad Street Brawler beating up on Mohawk and Headphone Jack earlier until, you know, that went south, so. Uh, we're it's lucky, inter- we're really lucky that fucking Sunshine didn't fucking die in, like, Undertaker. Oh, yeah, well, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that, 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 that Chojin could probably just put his spine back together, if he even has a spine. No, he's just, I'm sure, well, damn, I really need to get back to Kinnick, man, I forgot the lore of how Sunshine works. I do. I have two. I have not. I I've, I haven't read Kenny Command in a decade. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, we'll call it there. What another oh, yeah. exciting fight! IFWA Monthly Pro keeps on a rolling. Yep, and we'll probably have more OC bullshit, more matches, more weird stuff, and some more graduates from the Lord Mo Makes Today a Better Day Academy. We shall see what happens next month. Good night, everybody, and take care. Good night, folks. Signing off.